In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can use Adobe Lightroom Classic with Denoise AI, because there are actually a few options that you have in how to work with your images. Let's start with the most common, and that is working on a single image. So I've got this photo here of a monkey. You can see it was taken at ISO 6400, and it currently suffers from both luminance noise and color noise. And so we'll want to send this to Denoise AI to get rid of that. So the easiest way to do that is to simply right click on the photo, go to edit in, and then select Topaz Denoise AI. Lightroom will automatically create a copy with any adjustments that you make. And these are the settings that I'm gonna use. And so when you're ready to send this photo to Denoise AI, just click on the edit button. In Denoise AI, you have access to four different AI models. And the easiest way to see how they work with your photo is to change your view. So we're gonna change from the single view to comparison view. And then I'm gonna change my zoom factor to 200% and put it over the monkey's face. And this gives you a really convenient way to see the effects of multiple AI models on your photo at once. If you wanna see one of the other models in action, just select the quadrant that you wanna change. And here I'm gonna change low light to severe noise. And so from what I can see, I like the clear model the most. And so I'm gonna select it and then change my view to side-by-side -side view. Now I'm gonna click in the zoom box and type in 300 to get a little tighter. And I can pan around just to see the effects. And it's looking really good. Now to get an overall view, I'm gonna change the view to single view and zoom out to 200% again. And if I click my mouse, I can see the original photo and then the changes and just notice all of that noise that was negatively impacting the photo is gone. And we've actually increased detail around the high contrast edges like the eyes and the fur. Now that I'm done, I'll click apply to commit my changes and return back to Lightroom. Now that we're back in Adobe Lightroom Classic, you can see that the Denoise AI version has automatically been stacked with the original. Uh, if you select both of them and press C to compare, we can zoom in and see the differences here. In this case, the Denoise AI versions on the left and the original versions on the right. And the improvements are immediately noticeable. Now that we've looked at how to use a single photo with Denoise AI, let's take a look at how you can work with multiple photos from Adobe Lightroom Classic to Denoise AI. In this case, let's go ahead and select two different photos. And just like before, we're gonna right click, go to edit in and select Topaz Denoise AI. And just like before, Lightroom's gonna create copies with any adjustments that you've made and you can choose what the copy file options are. Click edit when you're ready to proceed. Now you'll notice that at the bottom, you have two different line items for each of the photos that you sent to Denoise AI. So just clicking on one of them will switch. And just like before, the first thing we'll wanna do is change our view to comparison view. And I'm gonna zoom in to 400% and focus on the bee's face and thorax. And between the three models that I see here, I like standard the most. So I'm gonna select it and then go to the side-by-side -side view. And I can further refine how much noise reduction is applied by adjusting the slider here. So I'm gonna bring this up to about 80. And I'm also gonna increase the enhanced sharpness slider also to about 80. I'm also gonna reduce the recover original detail slider. I'm gonna bring that down to about 10. And as I pan around, I can see the noise is completely removed and all the fine details of the B are restored and enhanced. Now I'll go ahead and change my view back to single view and let's readjust just to see the full B and the difference is pretty substantial if we click and hold to see the original and then the Denoise AI version, you can see that all that noise has been removed but we've retained and enhanced all those fine details which is really important for these kinds of macro photos. Now let's move on to our second photo and just like before, we'll change our view to comparison view Let's put focus on the female elk, which is also called a cow. And let's zoom out to 200% to get a better view. 
Now, because this photo was taken at ISO 16,000, it does suffer from extreme noise. So the first thing I'm gonna to wanna to do in comparison view is select this bottom right quadrant just as a matter of taste and preference. And I'm gonna change the AI model to severe noise. Next, I'm gonna select clear. I'm gonna change that to low light. And then I'm gonna select standard and I'm gonna change that to clear. And of all these AI models, severe noise easily wins out. So I'm gonna select it change my view to side-by-side -side view and pan around just to see some of the effects. Now I'm gonna change over to the single view and zoom out to 100% just to get a wider view. And the differences are pretty staggering. If we look at the original, it's completely riddled with noise because of the high ISO and the low light. But thanks to the new severe noise AI model, we're able to remove all that noise while preserving and enhancing those fine details. And so now that we're done working on both photos, what you'll want to do is click this checkbox to select all and then click apply to commit your changes to both photos and return back to Lightroom. And as you can see back in Lightroom Classic, We've got the two photos stacked with their respective originals. So we can select the B photo and just like before, press C to compare. Let's zoom in. And again, you can see the difference between the Denoise AI version and the original is pretty staggering. Really, really impressive that we were able to get rid of all that noise, preserve those fine edge details here. And then if we go back to grid view, let's select the cow photo. Let's zoom out and get on her face. And again, you can see the differences are quite striking when you see just how much noise was distracting from the actual subject. And that's how you can use Adobe Lightroom Classic with Denoise AI to improve your noisy photos. Thanks a lot.